in case of F1, in case of Formula One, see uh, this is this configuration is for all the manufacturers. So there are basically factors for Formula One are Renault, Mercedes, Ferrari, and Honda. So they are the main major engine providers in Formula One. Okay, Renault, Mercedes, Ferrari, and Honda. They are the major engine providers in Formula One. So every team uh, uses engine of either one of these teams. So now the engine configuration. As you can see, you have the turbo charger, right? You have a turbo charge. You have a turbo charger over here. Then you have, as I said, V6 internal combustion engine. Now this energy storage, this energy storage is nothing but a battery pack, and this battery pack is lithium polymer battery pack. So they are using lithium polymer battery pack okay so the battery pack they are using is lithium poly polymer and in that too they are using prismatic or pouch cells so prismatic or pouch cells they are using okay so you will get to know uh, in detail about these types of cells if you know better if you don't so during the session of batteries you will get to know about these cells Prism what is prismatic cell what is pouch cell what are the differences but so in case of formula one these teams are using lithium polymer chemistry and prismatic or pouch cell that depends on the manufacturer right so energy storage is your battery pack basically now as we dis as we saw yesterday in case of mahindra or suzuki or anyone so we have a motor right we have a motor so formula one is using mild hybrid if you remember yesterday we had micro hybrid mild hybrid and full hybrid so formula one is using mild hybrid setup okay since 2014 they are using mild hybrid setup right so under mild hybrid setup what they have is uh, they have two kinds of motor now earlier they had one uh, say from 2010 to 2012 they had only one motor which was which is mguk right MGU, I have MGU. I have already told you MGU is motor generator unit. Now here K stands for kinetic. Okay, the K, the term K stands for kinetic. Okay, so now since 2010 they are using MGU K. Okay, so in 2010 they came down from V10 to V8 and they were using MGUK till 2014. So after 2014, they reduced further reduced the engine size to V6 and they introduced a new motor which is MGUH. Right? Now here MGU means same, H is for heat. So this is just to see this uh, subscript which is K and H. It is there just to identify the type of motor. Right. No, a type of motor as in the utility of the motor or where the motor will be positioned in the engine. Right. So MGUK is attached to the crankcase. As you can see over here, the MGUK, the MGUK is attached to the crankcase, right? And MGUH is attached to the turbocharger. Okay. So Fine. So they are using two motors instead of one. They are using two different kinds of motor. One is attached to the turbocharger, and one is attached to the crankshaft of the vehicle. Right? Is there any doubt, or is, is there any question coming to your mind seeing this setup? Is there any question coming to your mind seeing this setup? What does MDH do? Can you explain? How okay. So yeah, that would be the next step. That would that would that is the next step that I am going to do. What what is the specific role of MGUK and MGUH individually? Okay, that will be covered. What that is the next step. So MGUH is basically attached to the turbocharger. So while your vehicle is running, right? While your vehicle is running and while you are racing, so while turbo is turbocharger is engaged, this MGUH will be will be acting as a generator, right? And when 
uh, you break and you need an initial that initial acceleration or during start you need that as initial acceleration then at that time mgoh will act as a motor in order to compensate for turbo lag right so turbo lag also i will explain right and mguk similarly mguk acts in the same way okay uh, functionality of turbo charger see a uh, turbo charger uses uh, okay just let me just fast forward the video to you Okay, so you wanted to know the functionality of turbo charger, right? So uh, this is your engine. Okay, this is your engine, and with that, you will come to know about the functionality of MGH also. So this is your engine, right? And this is exhaust of the engine. Okay, so this is our engine, and this is the exhaust of the engine. So what happens is the turbo charger function of turbo charger is it will take the exhaust, and this exhaust will you have a turbine over here okay you have a turbine over here so this exhaust will rotate this turbine okay let's see so if you can see see if you can see there are there is some uh, there is a turbine over here okay so the exhaust gas will come and it will rotate the turbine okay it will rotate the turbine which in turn will now this is your compressor okay this is your compressor okay now which in turn will rotate the compressor which will increase the amount of air being fed into the engine right so it will basically it will increase the amount of air being fed into the engine and so due to which as the rpm increases as the rpm increases the amount of engine being pushed into the engine also increases and the fuel is able to burn completely so you have ample air ample amount of air as the speed of the engine increases also uh, just to give you give you an idea this uh, why this is necessary in f1 or the sports illustrated engine it is usually the sports illustrated engine and most of the high performance engine they will require turbocharger okay so uh, in case of f1 why it is necessary is just take a wild guess like what will be the idling rpm does anyone of you have an idea or can just take a guess what is the idling rpm of an f1 like if you uh, let's say you, you uh, usually your car has a uh, about 1000 uh, rpm for idling like idling means you start the car there is uh, you put it on neutral and you leave the pedal so engine is still rotating right engine is still uh, operating 10k 10k is too much 5000 nearby right so your car has 1000 rpm bike usually is 2500 around right and f1 engine is 6000 so 6000 is the idling rpm and it goes up to maximum of 18000 it goes up to maximum of 18000 right so the maximum operating rpm of the f1 engine is up to 18000 so it will go it can go up to 18000 right so at that high, at that much of rpm you need more air you need more air per per cycle you need more air per cycle in order to be able to perform the proper combustion of the fuel right right so that's why they have a turbo charger over here now apart from rotating the compressor this turbo charger is also rotating your mguh okay so not only it 
not only it is rotating the compressor yes, so basically exhaust gas comes in it rotates the turbine it rotates the compressor and at the same time it will also rotate the mgu h right it will also rotate the mgu h where it will act as a generator right so if i am to summarize this so let's say a case case one where you are where you are racing okay racing as in you are in a straight line okay your car is in a straight line it, your car is going in on on a straight line right so in that case the mguh will act as a generator okay so case one is when you are racing in a straight line mguh will act as a generator and it will so mguh in that case your mguh will so mguh will be recharging your battery right so basically what you are doing is you are trying to you are recovering the energy from the engine you are recovering the energy from the engine right the exhaust gas energy you are using that exhaust gas energy in order to recharge the battery right now so that is for case 1 now case 2 you are starting from stop right so in in the beginning of the race like as the race starts at that time or you have undergone hard braking and you are at lower gear so you want to go from lower gear to higher gear right so basically let's say you applied the brake and you came down see uh, this v6 engine has eight gears right so it right so you came down to third gear you came down to third gear now from third gear you want to go to eighth gear right so in that case what happens is uh, uh, we at particularly at low rpm between 6000 to so particularly at low rpm between 6000 to 9000 rpm f1 in, uh, you in case of turbo you experience something called as called as turbo lag turbo lag is see uh, turbo lag what turbo lag is because the exhaust gas is the one driving your turbine right exhaust gas is driving the turbine right so exhaust gas is the one driving the turbine so at low rpm the pressure of exhaust gas is low right at low rpm the pressure in exhaust gas is low and due to which it is unable to uh, in a, it is unable to move the compressor comp in a proper manner in order to fulfill the need of the engine right or in order to push that extra air into the into the engine so in that case what we do is we engage the mguh so in this case so in case 2 mguh is acting as a motor the so mguh will act as a motor so now in case 2 uh mg case to mguh will draw energy from the battery drive your turbine right so in case 1 it is recharging the battery while you are racing in case 2 it is drawing energy from the battery to run the turbine whenever there is a case of turbo lag in that case it will draw the energy from the battery in order to assist the turbine to gain to help it gain speed in quicker way is there any doubt in this mguh